you can spend an awful lot of time looking at the outside of these medieval churches and noticing small changes in the construction that might be a clue to what's gone before. On the building behind me, on this wall, which is the north face of the church, you can see some shapes in the stonework. And I've looked at this building quite a bit, and I'm not an expert. I think we'd have to get a buildings expert along. But I think it's possible to see the shape of a door that was originally filled in. And it's just possible that this might have been the night door for the monks to get them into this church. We should look on the other side and see if there's a similar opening. But if you look at all these fragments of wall here, you can see that there's some extremely large pieces of stonework that have been changed and built over time. And it may well be that these are part of the original priory buildings and that somewhere, church is playing as a nice tune, somewhere around here there should have been a cloister. And in this area, with the sun shining like it is today, you can probably imagine how nice it would have been to walk in the warmth of the sun in the cloister. Less nice, getting up at two o'clock in the morning and walking probably just below the level of that wall there and making their way into the church, probably frozen cold, to say their prayers at about two o'clock.